A major role of colorists and cinematographers lies in communicating the internal theme of a film using color. The role of the colorist goes beyond making a film or an image look pretty. Today we'll be talking about the monochrome behind Inside Lewin Davis and how we can recreate it to the best of Premiere Pro's ability for your future projects. The overall theme of our film revolves around depression. Most DPs and colorists might advocate the use of an overall green atmosphere to showcase this aspect of a film. In this particular film, the colorist and cinematographer had to touch on other aspects as well. For example, showcasing a 60s New York. Greenish skin tones to induce a feeling of uneasiness and adding a bit of glow to mimic an old and memory-like look. Peter Doyle, the colorist behind the movie, achieves this by remapping the blue channel onto the green. While that is possible in complex colour gradings through softwares like Baselight, such functions are not easily possible within the scope of Premiere Pro. So keeping an overall technique in mind, we will try and do something similar within the domain of Premiere Pro. A shortcut perhaps, but much closer to the impact of professional techniques in colour specific softwares. We are going to use our Kodak Vision 2 5218 LUT. You can download this LUT for free with the link below. We've updated our Ultimate Colorist Toolkit to version 2.0 for 2021. 5218 LUT is part of our film emulation category of our toolkit bundle. If you want to read more about Kodak 5218 film emulation LUT or check out our Ultimate Toolkit, we've added the links in the description. For now, let's see how this LUT affects an image. This LUT adds a muted green tone to the overall image, but there are minor tweaks that are still needed to be done in order to achieve that look. We will get more clarity soon with our first example. As always, we have colour corrected footages on the timeline. If you don't know how to colour correct, check out the link in the description. Let's start by making an adjustment layer. Place it on top of our footages so that it can cover them all. Let's drop a Lumetri panel on this adjustment layer. Open Creative. We'll be loading Vision 5218 LUT from our Ultimate Colorist Toolkit version 2 and immediately you can see its effect. You see, the colors here are saturated. In order to achieve the intended look, what we're going to do is to work on the same principal technique that the colorist originally used, but within the framework of Premiere Pro. We will desaturate everything but reds. We'll add a Lumetri panel to our footage. Let's call it Desat. Desat as in desaturation. For a moment, let's hide the adjustment layer. Go to DSAT Lumetri Panel, Open Curves, Inside Hue versus Saturation. We'll be bringing down the saturation by pulling down the greens and the blues. Maybe adjust the node so that it can cover orange and magenta too. Also, try to bring down the reds too, but only a little. Once we do that, what we get is a sort of pale red look. Now, when we add LUT on it, we get the green tint, which is within the ballpark range of what was in the movie. Not a professional way though, but given the limitations of Premiere Pro, this is the closest we can get. But it does look good. We just have to fix some skin tones by adjusting the hues. Go to Hue versus Hue. Add the nodes selecting greens and blues. Punch up the red a little. Here you can see its subtle effect. Now, what we need is a little gloomy atmosphere. For that, we'll be adding glow. From the effect panel, drop VR glow on the footage. Let's play with the threshold. Increase the radius. Adjust the brightness and let's use a tinted colour for the glow. This is it. We can also add a film grain on top of it from our Ultimate Colorist Toolkit 2.0. We will pick the 4K 35mm Ultra Fine. Set the blending mode to overlay.
Now on to our next shot. Just like we did earlier, we'll drop a... Let's just hide the adjustment layer first. Drag and drop a Lumetri panel on the footage. Open curves, but before we play with it, take a look at the reference image here in our parade scopes. So first, let's adjust the brightness or exposure accordingly. Adjust the shadows. And just play around with it until we get the desired result. Now, go to Hue versus Saturation, and as we did earlier, add nodes and pull down the greens and blues. And a little red too. Let's unhide the adjustment layer and take a look. Nice! Now, the skin tone. Go to Hue versus Hue and punch up the red just a little. Like this. Before, after. Also, we almost forgot to rename our panel. We will add a vignette mask. Drop in another Lumetri panel. Under colour wheels, pull down some mid-tones. Adjust some shadows. Let's add a mask in here. Spread it over our subject. Increase the feathering, make it nice and soft. Let's have a look. Maybe tweak some shadows more. Rename it as Mask. Now again, to make it gloomy, we'll apply Glow. Actually, we'll just copy it from our previous shot and paste it here. Let's play with the threshold. Maybe not too bright. Perfect. Now, we have arrived at our final shot. And as always, drop a Lumetri panel. Have a look at scopes of our reference image. We will be adjusting the levels first here. Head to colour wheels, pull down the highlights, Punch up the mid-tones, pull down shadows a little bit, maybe tweak it a little bit more. The effect is subtle, but it will add up to the effect in the end. We'll let the adjustment layer stay hidden for a while. Rename this Lumetri panel to Levels. Now drop another Lumetri panel. This will be DSAT again. And just as we did earlier, under Hue Saturation Curves, we will mute some colours and punch up some. But this time, in order to achieve the look of the reference image, in Hue versus Hue, we will lock the greens and blues and pull down some reds just by a bit. Again, we'll be adding a mask. Drop another Lumetri. Open colour wheels, pull down some shadows. Create a mask and adjust it accordingly. Increase the feathering. Let's rename the panel. Copy and paste the glow from the previous shot.
we'll be tweaking the threshold. And brightness too. Keep tweaking till you get the desired results. Maybe play with the glow saturation as well. Back in DSAT panel, in Hue versus Hue, let's pull down the orange and punch up magenta. Before, after. This is how we can achieve the look of Inside Lewin Davis within Premiere Pro. We're constantly exploring new techniques and with each new voyage we upgrade our products with necessary updates. Which is why we've launched Ultimate Colorist Toolkit V2. The new toolkit is packed to the brim with essential tools every colorist would ever need. You can find the product link in the description. Do check it out. Also, make sure to subscribe here to stay updated and follow us on Instagram at colorist.factory. That's all for now, until next time.